All right, Mario. I, 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 I pressed off like a second. Lords and ladies, Jacob Butter speaking, and um, welcome to um, welcome to another episode of Super Mario City 3. And uh, yes, if you read the title correctly, this is an important video, and we'll get to that in a second. But first of all, I'm going to apologize because I actually entered this door thinking I'd gone to this part before during this particular playthrough. I hadn't, and I lost the animation of the red star that we got from Kamek last time. So, um, oops. Um, but yeah. I would normally explore around and have a good old chit chat with a lot of these, a lot of these new toads because uh, some of them here contain some of my favorite dialogues. But a, I'm still recovering from from doing um, from doing a bunch of um, a bunch of songs and remix of stuff uh, over the past week or so. Um, it still kind of hurts to swallow sometimes, <clears throat> like I just had to right then. Ow. But um, so, uh, but but also, but yeah, the, and the uh, the voice of Toad um, hurts to do. So I'm not going to do it today. Um, so yeah, but basically today I said I was going to go into call seven, and I intend to. Why is the room shaking? And it's fine now. Sure, okay, um, fair enough. <laughs> what was I expecting? Consistency. Nah, I'm joking. I love this game. Um, yeah, so I'll hop into it and then I will start talking about where the heck I've been for the past week. Because as you'll soon see, there's a reason I disappeared without notifying pretty much anyone that I was going to do so. But yeah, let's get it. Let's go ahead and start this first. So we have rainbow right. We've got cruiser crossing the rainbow, and we've got tricky triangles that I'm supposed to avoid because I did them in season one. Um, unfortunately, it was so long ago, I have really got to stop with that. Wait, did I mute the music? Oh, I did. There we go. Actually, wait a minute, I'm talking, so yeah, I, I've got to, I probably should do that. Okay, so uh, yeah. Oh, he doesn't, didn't destroy himself, okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so what happened in the past week? Well, uh, if you were on the Butter Bunch at all during the last week, or uh, on Discord, or if you... This is a horrible start. As I was saying, yeah, if you were on any of those places, or on Discord, or if you just happened to, um, if you just happened to message me somewhere saying, like, where on earth have you gone, or something like that, um, then you will already be aware of this information. But uh, my, my channel... Given the uh, uh, within the past week or so, received well within literally the past week, seven days, uh, received a community guideline strike. Uh, so yeah, I've been dealing with that. But part of the issue with community guideline strikes, as I found um, I found last time, was actually um, that you get a bunch of penalties for it, which I'm not going to list off right now because you know I'm playing a game and I can't read it exactly. Um, but one of the uh, one of the penalties is not being able to upload, no community tab things, um, no nothing pretty much, which almost broke the streak of Walking Wednesday. But I put that on the butter bunch. So if you want to see Walking Wednesday number, what number are we on? One fifty five. Then that's the place to go. In that spirit, I am sorry that I wasn't able to, you know, talk out. And you're wondering what that community guideline strike was all about. Uh, well, if you've seen uh, my street five years later. Uh, recently, you know that the streams, the last two streams, have had some complications to them. And uh, this cloud leads literally nowhere. Okay. Uh, anyways. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the streams, complications. Uh, stuff has happened and I was not happy about it. Um, I'm just checking around every place I can possibly go to make sure I, I don't, you know correct myself um 
Oh, that's the triangle's route. That's mu that much I know. There was something down here as well. So let me just calmly meander back down. Okay, so... So, yeah, so the, the streams have excellent complications, including that uh, parts of them, well, at times they were actually, like, taken down. Ah, here we go. Here's something. Okay, so yes, there was parts of the streams were taken down. Oh, there's bullet bills, my favorite creatures in all the world. Um. Oh, I see. Come back here, bird. I need you to. Okay, but yeah, so I've got it's um. I'll think about this. So um. Hmm. I might have to try the triangles route to see if I can sort of cheat my way to that area. Uh, right. So yeah. So that so those parts were temporarily removed, and uh, I didn't actually see why at first um, until a short while later, um, because I thought it was like a fluke the first time, but it wasn't a fluke. That was turns out it was the warning. Unless you check on YouTube now, which it just says that the warning was issued on July 17th, 2019. Which, if uh, if you're wondering, the only thing I post on that day is the Mutant Girl Season 1, Episode 4, which has absolutely zilch to do with this whole situation. So yeah, off to a great start already. Uh, much like this level that I'm on. Um, but yeah, so I thought it was a fluke. Um, turns out it was the warning. and uh, And then... Uh, because of the of the next the next stream having the exact same issues, um, the uh, the entire uh, yeah my entire channel got that got the community guidelines strike, and so of course I wondered you know what on earth is going on? This has never happened before. Well, I mean I've got community guidelines strike in the past, but that was that was again for a completely unrelated issue in uh, and that was actually filed by an individual rather than it was automatically detected this time. Still very confused at this point. I look into what it was, and um, this this time the community guideline strike was for um, scams, deceptive practices, and spam. Or um, there's a specific name for that YouTube policy. Um, hmm. I'm still trying to not do the triangles route this time. Is that what all the bullet bills are for? Just the triangles? I get the feeling they might be. Yeah, these guys aren't actually that bad after all. Oh, I get it now. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> Truly the trickiest of triangles. Um, oh, actually, I'm going to have to go because I've got a prior commitment to a family event. So I will pause this now. So, yeah, I got to... um. The point where I discovered the community guidelines strike was that right? So, yeah, and I discovered what it was all about. Uh, so I looked into the different practices um, as for um, and uh, at first I thought it was to do with misleading metadata, which was the what I got the last strike for in the 2018 one. Uh, in 2018, I did a video um, which was reviewing uh, Dragon Ball R and R episode one, and for that I used oh dear. Yeah, I'm just going to go back. I don't want to go down this path anymore. Not because I failed, it's just because I need to actually get out of here. Not that way. Don't want to get out that badly. Not that solution. The other solution. Good lord, okay. Nice try. So yeah, um, that was because I used the same tags and uh, similar thumbnail to the video, which I thought, okay, well, I've been doing that for basically all of the My Street five years later, so maybe it's, it's finally caught up to me. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't dispute the, uh, the, claim, the claim at all, because after all, that would have been my fault. And uh, then I started thinking, okay, well, that's going to impact the future of what I do on here, you know, as far as, as, far as actually... Um, as far as the um as the five years later series goes, um, 
I need to have obviously change the metadata, make sure it's uh, well, well, it's not misleading. That's uh, it's the uh, the basic of it. Oh, I went down this path already. The only way I can go is up now, isn't it? I guess I have to keep going upwards. Oh, I should have refueled. Birds here have become my greatest enemies, seemingly. And my own triple jump, apparently. Come on, where are you? There you are. Crazy thing. I'm off to meet the genie again. That's a very old school reference there. I mean, getting a few star coins, you know, never hurt anyone, except for me just now, like right the second I said that. Ah. You know, for such a, for such a cushy sounding name, this course is very deadly. Like right now. In the, uh, in the immortal words of Phoenix Diamondite, I almost died of deadness. And yes, that was an actual thing that she said one time. It's almost like uh, it's almost like Monet's classic phrase, "dead, dead," except for um, not entirely. <laughs> I must find the other paths. Doing as well this time, clearly. Now, it should be just, the, just a, a course where you have to actually fly on the birds that attack you. That would be a fun one to do. I'd see that one. Is the world just shrinking and changing around me? I think it's just loading different assets or something. Just doing that. And now I get healed. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, so I got thinking, okay, well, I've got to change the title, the style of the thumbnails, the style of the thing. But also, what threw me through a loop was actually something else. Um, I, I checked in my emails about the warning of it, basically. Let's read this. Either go right to the cruising ship or left to the floating mansion. Okay, that's where I want to go, the floating mansion, because I didn't do that one last time. I did the cruising ship. Everything died of deadness there, I assure you. Um, right. So, yeah, I thought, um, I thought that's what... Ah, stupid birds. I think these glass blocks actually do actually help me quite a lot. Um, okay. So yeah, I, I saw that I saw that the warning actually said that it contained uh, it contained possible content, but um, copyrighted content. Oh come on! I didn't jump that time really. All right. There we go. Much better. Much much better. Quite a, there is a surprising amount of concentration I need to do in this particular stage. It's almost like the seventh course on something is always the most difficult one. Who the funk it? Uh, but yeah, so um, so I so I looked at I saw to that. So I, okay, well wait a minute, is that something? Um, you know, because as far as I'm aware, obviously you know, Afmal's content has been reviewed for years. You know, ah, oh, Rocket Flood, yes. Sweet, sweet rocket flood. Um, oh, and turbo flood. I didn't pick that up before for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Oh, I was meant to use the turbo flood to go around and see where the rocket flood was. Got it. Um, let's go in here as well. Oh, there's nothing where the rocket flood was before. Okie dokie.
okay, so so that's that throw ruler because again, again, add more content. I would have thought, oh well, this is clearly something that uh, that should be that should be fine. I mean, every every other person who's been reviewing Athmel for years has never had this issue, or at least they haven't reported that they've had it. So, did did the the copyright of my street recently change, or was it never there to begin with until right now? That's what I was thinking about. Um, but uh, but no, it actually um, as it turns out, I I checked. Um, my mum even asked me if I could actually check this stuff and say, oh well, when exactly you know can you exactly check to see if it's copyrights or not? It's like it's not that simple. I actually did look, there's no registration or something. Um, so I was completely stumped. I was like, am I sort of doing Athmar content? It's five years later, the series Dooms can never return to YouTube or something. But actually, today, once the, once the penalty stuff, once the no upload, no community guidelines, no bunch of things creating new playlists, etc., once that has subsided, I actually realized that there was something else way way more important to think about um well way way more um okay there's nothing on that side okay the shine sprite's right there but I, I need to finish the story so i'm just going to keep talking um so the issue uh was less so about the fact that it was um to miss the metadata is what i thought because i looked at the comments and I'm like okay there's nothing here but actually on uh, that's that was on the when i looked up the spam deceptive practices themselves when I actually looked it up on YouTube Studio to see if the penalty was still in place and it wasn't, I also noticed that the active strike, which stays active for, for 90 days when it was issued, regardless of where the penalty was, um, that the active strike actually said, um, as he was talking about live stream abuse or live stream malpractice or something. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was. I'll put the image on screen right now. Oh, and it just, the entire, if you can see the loading process that's going on here, that's not meant to be seen in the original 4x3 format. It's interesting. Um, right. I think it's because the different backgrounds have to are on a different pathway, and then they need to. Yeah, that's a weird thing to see, but it makes so much sense. It to be the same, the same image looping over. That's clever. Anyway, sorry. So yeah, it was but about that, and it realized that oh yeah, well some um, it was specifically said oh live streams that contain content um belong to other people. So it wasn't the case that the video got, got, that got taken down because uh, it was copyrighted content. The reason that that series is getting taken down is because it's a live show. And I guess live shows, obviously, they're going to have to have some sort of other different policing because with live shows, you can, apparently you can stream other people's content and they've, uh, they've now have a system detecting that, whereas just, just that content and people aren't supposed to know. It's like, okay, I guess your gives you the analytics. I guess people can archive it and not show it, and there's no evidence that it actually happens. Which, of course, that definitely counts as live stream abuse. But, if, but since they they probably have the policy for that thing, they can't make exceptions. So stuff like you know, you know, play they're playing different clips and then you know reviewing them or reviewing the show in segments and adding your own commentary over the top is not as simple as a, or a case to actually um to actually monitor as it would be to do um as it would be to do for um a video where you can very easily very easily edit something in a way that you know makes you see that you're complying with fair use so that's what i think happened which means that um the five years later format that i've had oh my, my voice just went there the five years later format that i have is not um viable anymore at least on youtube uh which means that i'm going to have to change a few things um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna go back down here with Hubbard or something, so people can have something interesting to see while I'm just talking and rambling. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to change uh, is uh, that five years later, I've been still been doing that show, by the way. It's just been going on Twitch instead. So if you want to uh, follow the series live, then uh, it will now be on Twitch. So I will leave my Twitch in the description. Um, in addition, um, the the, um, the videos themselves, the ones that um, the the time that I put the video got the, got the warning on YouTube itself, well, as um, as a separate video, it no longer be an issue. And I guess now that's because again, live show and not um, and not a recorded a recorded review in the traditional manner. It was it's obviously recorded, but just not you know the way you think. 
so yeah what what does what does that mean basically so yeah um that means that uh after the after the videos are done they'll be archived but you want if you want the live experience the the way that it works the interactivity of the piece itself the way that i intended the show to be that will now be on twitch you know same time same place five years later you get the drill by now um cooper shells are pathetic in this game look oh no it's gonna get me it's gonna get me Ooh, uh. off it goes again just touch a pixel me off at once um right so uh so yeah but that obviously means that i have a live void a lot of people have now subscribed to me because they want that live experience so what does that leave me doing well it means that i'm going to have to i'm going to switch something else to live i think i'll start playing some more games live maybe not maybe not this game specifically or maybe i will who knows um Maybe I'll record a batch of episodes of, of My City 3 and I'll put them on. Maybe I'll bring back Spore onto this channel or something. Or maybe I will I will start I will I will pitch the idea of doing live Pixelmon, which I guess um, Mimi is already doing on the um, on the It's Shorty Chan Twitch. So I guess I can always start doing the same. Something along those lines. So I, I think that's the solution. So doing something else live. And before anyone says anything, the, the, the Ruby stuff will have the exact same issue attached to it. So obviously, can't do that. Um, in fact, it'll be even even riskier to do so. Because, I mean, Athmau for all her faults is not usually one for filing claims like this one. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> but rooster teeth apparently are. So yeah, I'm going to do that from now on. I think it'll be much more secure, much, much safer. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But uh, but yeah, for now, let, 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 see, let me see what you guys think I should do for live content from now on. See what actually, um, see what other stuff I can actually do. Um, so yeah, let me know about that. And, uh, and, and, and in the meantime, yeah, I guess I've got another stream later today. So if you want to do this on the day of upload, which is hopefully the 29th, either it's happened already and I'm late to it, um, I like putting this up, or uh, it, it is going to happen, and I'm just posting stuff in quick session because Minecraft Fantasy is going to come out today as well. I'm playing catch up, clearly. So, yeah, it depends, but go ahead and check that out, see what happens. And if you miss that stream, then it will obviously be archived on here. And that's my strategy. If I disappear for a, a long time on this channel again or on any other channel, it's because, um, it's because that's that I would have received a second strike, which would mean I'd be off out of commission for 90 days. But I think I'm good. I think I'm covered. So let's hope for the best, and we'll see where this goes. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to obviously, I will say what I'm going to do in this uh, next episode now. I am going to, next time I'm doing Fire 3, of course, I'll be returning here because there's more stuff other than the, uh, other than that, uh, than that airship and the floating mansion and the triangles to do. I think I might have unlocked some other stuff. Who knows? But that is what we are going to do in the next episode. And I'll talk to the toads as well. My voice has recovered. It doesn't have to swallow anymore. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking for now. And uh, I'll say please leave a like or dislike because your opinion matters. And subscribe if you've done so already because I'm not going anywhere. I don't intend to leave again. And if I do so, it is once again not by choice. So on that note, until next time. No, Mario. We're done. Farewell. Thank you.